If you wind up in the crosshairs of a government investigation, you might be inclined to destroy evidence of your supposed wrongdoing. However, resorting to the paper shredder may just double your trouble. In Arthur Anderson v. United States, we encounter a company that learned that lesson the hard way. Arthur Anderson was an accounting firm. Enron Corporation was an energy conglomerate. Arthur Anderson audited Enron's public financial statements. It also provided Enron with internal auditing and consulting services. In the early 2000s, Enron's financial condition deteriorated. In August of 2001, an Enron employee warned Arthur Anderson that Enron was in serious trouble. In the following months, Arthur Anderson formed a crisis response team. It also hired outside counsel to represent it in anticipated litigation. By October 9th, Arthur Anderson knew that the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, would likely launch an investigation. In a variety of writings and meetings, Arthur Anderson repeatedly advised employees that they should destroy documents consistent with the company's document retention policy. On November 8th, the SEC subpoenaed Arthur Anderson's records. The company advised its employees to stop destroying documents the next day. The United States government alleged that Arthur Anderson's document destruction violated a federal statute regarding the obstruction of justice. That statute made it a crime to knowingly and corruptly persuade others to withhold documents from or to alter documents for use in an official proceeding. The district court's jury instructions didn't require the jury to find that Arthur Anderson was conscious of its wrongdoing. The jury convicted. Arthur Anderson appealed to the Fifth Circuit, which affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.